Hi, this is Nick. And Silke from Jager Foods. This video series is titled Easy Recipes for Two. Be sure to visit our blog when you're done watching the video at www.jagerfoods.com and leave us a comment if you like. Enjoy! Hi, today's easy recipe for two is an Italian pork chop. What we will need is some bonus pork chops. We have four because they come in a packet of four usually. Some zucchini, um, some mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes, salt and pepper for seasoning, if you like, and some, um, what is that called? Oregano. Italian, balsamic Italian vinegar, vinaigrette. All right, so I washed the pork chops and I patted them dry and I'm gonna use some salt and pepper. Um, you don't need to use salt if you don't want to, if you're on a low sodium diet, you just omit the salt. I use sea salt because I like it. And some freshly ground pepper. Again, it's a choice. Some people like pepper, some don't. I like cooking with pepper, so pat that down a little bit. And now I need a paper towel. All the seasoning you'll need on a pork chop, salt and pepper. You don't need to get fancy with it. Okay, and then we will heat up our frying pan to a medium high, usually about six or seven on my stove, I don't know about your stove. Put in a splash of extra virgin olive oil. And let that warm up a little bit. So I washed our zucchini, I have a yellow and a green one, cut the ends off and I'm cut it in half and now I'm slicing it in fairly um, even slices, about a quarter inch or whatever it is. Alright, so in the meantime our grease is warm and I'm going to slowly add our pork chop to the frying pan. Okay, and we're going to let that brown on both sides. It takes about two minutes to brown the side, the side of the top, and then you flip them over. And at this point, you can add your vegetables. Minutes, and then we add the rest of the stuff. As an accompaniment, we're just making some rice. You can just plain white, white rice is good, or we're making a, a fried rice just to mix out of a box. Um, just follow the directions on the box. It's easy, it takes about 15 minutes. Nothing to it. Both sides of our pork chops nicely brown. And it's time to, rip, to um, add the rest of our ingredients. We have here a quarter cup of uh, balsamic vinaigrette. I'm going to put it in. And don't worry, the recipe will be on the YouTube channel or on our blog. We're going to add some an oregano, just sprinkle some on it. I usually don't measure herbs or spices, I just really can't go wrong with it. And then we're going to add a can of Italian diced tomatoes. Alright, plop all this in. Spread it around a bit. Like that. Then we're going to turn it down just a little bit to a medium heat, cover it, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Alright, well, you should check it every, every, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes or so. Make sure it's not boiling too much, depending on, on your stove and how hot your stove runs or your cooktop. Um, it's anywhere from 12 to 18, 20 minutes. Um, so just check it. You know when the meat is done and you press on it and it's firm. Um, if you have any doubt, you can always take a 
meat thermometer, of course. Or just take a knife and just cut into one piece. And well, that's done. Otherwise, you will see a little pink center. If you have a pink center, just cover it and leave it in for a couple more minutes. All right, so this is pretty much done. So we're gonna shut the heat off. We're gonna add a cup of mozzarella cheese. Just sprinkle the whole thing over there. Um, if you're on a low-fat diet, you don't need the cheese. I mean, you can substitute with, I don't know, what's less than low-fat, I don't know. So, anybody, you don't need the cheese. The cheese just adds a little bit of creaminess to the whole thing. And we're gonna cover it just for a few more minutes while we dip up the rice. Let that sit up a little bit. So, we do have some sauce with this. So if you have white rice, you can, you know, use the sauce to cover your rice. Well, we just pop a little bit on there and then I dribble it, of course. All right, well, we're not in a fine restaurant, so I'm not gonna be too worried about. Yeah, this is my plate. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so the cheese is pretty much almost melted. Good. And like I said, we do have some sauce, but since we have um, a flavored rice, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. So we'll just take our pork chop, put it on the plate, find another one here. Oof, it's a cheesy, gooey, yummy mixture here. And then I'm gonna fish out some of my, I'm just gonna use one of those spoons to get some of the vegetables out of here. Actually a little bit of a messy side, huh? All right. Now we used zucchini for this, fresh zucchini for this recipe, but you could also use um, frozen vegetables just a mixed vegetable, broccoli, you could, well, I don't know about broccoli, but um, just a mixed vegetable would be good too, if you don't want to go with a fresh, I was craving fresh vegetables today, so, all right, well, this is it, uh, we'll see you at the dinner table in just a minute. Okay, we were ready to try our our first recipe, this is an Italian um, pork chop with fresh zucchini, mozzarella cheese, Italian diced tomatoes, canned tomatoes, and oregano. Or, oregano. Oregano. The whole process took about 40 minutes from start to finish. And all right, take a bite. What do you think? Mm. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's good. Couple minutes there, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, bon appetit.